Welcome. This is a very brief video on using a document camera to teach a class online. I'm going to demonstrate this using the Lumens document cameras that were provided by the math department. And I'm going to just show you the first couple of steps to get the document camera up and running and how to use it together with the Zoom to teach a class online and to record it. The first thing you need to do is install the software to run the document camera. So go to the Lumens website and under support, click on download. And under download, look for document cameras. And under document cameras, this is the DC 193. And under there, we want to go to software and driver and then install the curiously named Ladybug pick the appropriate version for your operating system and go ahead and install that. Okay, the next thing you need to do is plug in the power on your document camera and also the USB uh, cable from the document camera to the computer, not the HDMI cable. And assuming you've done that, let's go on and we now have this Ladybug software and let's open that. That brings up this window and on the left here, there's a power button, click on that and that will turn the power on on your document camera. At least on the Mac, you get this curious device being disconnected message, which you can safely ignore. It takes quite a long time for the camera to power on. There's a blinking blue light while it's doing that. At least on the Mac, you get this funny little pop-up saying, click on this button to do it again, right here. Okay, and then this window comes back and the document camera is on and let's make it full screen. So now you're ready to uh, write on the, on the paper and it's recorded by the document camera. So this is how you'll be, this is your substitute for a board, blackboard in a classroom. Okay, so that's the basics of getting the document camera running. Now let's look how to use this in Zoom. So let's launch Ladybug again and click on the power button and close this silly dialog and wait for the power to come up. And now we have our document. Okay, that's just as before. Now let's go into Canvas, into the Zoom section of Canvas and let's start a meeting. There is another video on the website which talks about how to launch a Zoom meeting, so I won't go over that again, but let's say you set up a meeting and you launch it as usual. After a few seconds, the video comes up and we see that we are in fact looking at the uh, output of the document camera. Let's adjust this a little bit so it shows what we want. So here's the crucial point. When I click on the video camera here, I've chosen the Lumen document camera. So rather than showing the video from my laptop, it's sharing the screen. And now I can write on the uh, paper and it's being recorded. Assuming that you've turned on recording, it's being recorded by Zoom or it's being streamed uh, live to your students. And after a few seconds, you finish class. And when you're all done, you click on leave meeting and assuming that you're recording, it gets saved. So when the meeting is over, I close this window and I can go back to the uh, Zoom page of Canvas and we see that I now have this recording there uh, that I've just made. That concludes this introductory video. Good luck, everybody, and remember to go to the Slack page if you have further questions.